They complain, as young babies often do. But Wednesday, an important rite of passage for these peregrine falcon chicks. The three-week-old birds are being banded by New Hampshire Audubon staff. Well, these chicks are right at the perfect age where the legs are big enough that we can put the bands on um, and make sure that they're the right size and, and also that the chicks are, are old enough that handling them isn't you know, too traumatic for them. The procedure is a sort of baptizing for these baby birds, a way for biologists to identify them and follow their lives. And that's why we banned the birds, so that we can really keep track of what they're doing and where they are and what's happening with them because, you know, for a long time we didn't have any peregrines in New Hampshire. Peregrine falcons were once endangered, but since 2001, 39 young falcons have hatched from a nest site on top of the Brady Sullivan Tower in Manchester. Of these, 20 have re located across New England. They're not all going to survive and that's part of the natural process. Um, so we know that there's going to be some that are lost over the years um, but because they're banded and we can keep track of the ones that are successful as well as the ones that aren't, it, it gives us that data to know that the Peregrine Recovery Project has really been successful. But for now, like any good guardians, biologists will keep a close eye on their newly banded falcons until their babies are ready to leave the nest. Flight is very, very important to them, and so they have to get good at it. And uh, we hope that these these four chicks do and have a good, successful life. And if they get through their first year, they have a better chance. In Manchester, I'm Shelley Walcott, WMUR News 9.